Well, boys, we've all worked very hard this year. I'm very proud of you. The new pupils may not be aware of this, but we celebrate the end of every term with a big school outing. So, let's get right on with it. The following boys are gay. Parker G. Simmons, G. Forstead. On behalf of Her Majesty's Government... On behalf of Her Majesty's Government... I would like to welcome the President. I would like to welcome the President. And wish him a very pleasant stay in our country. And wish him a very pleasant stay in our country. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful. Would you thank the Ambassador very much for that speech? Thank you very much for the one... Oh, what's, what's going on? Um, I'm translating. Yes, but you're meant to translate that. And he's speaking English. Well, I'm the translator. Um, yes, I, I'm fully aware you're the translator, mm. but I speak English, you speak English, and so does the president, apparently. Uh, Look, just stand aside. Please, Please don't touch me. me. Don't ever touch Is me. Is there a problem? Mr. President, I do apologize. There's obviously been some uh, misinformation here. <laughs> but I'm sure that after a few days' work, we can settle and reach a new agreement. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Well done. Yes. Would you? I know. No. I I tried. <laughs> it's just annoyed. <laughs> Am I sorry? Speaking too quickly? Yes. There is, uh... Do you need me to help you at all? Uh... Um, yes, yes, please. Just repeat Land. everything I say. We're here to negotiate. You are a huge whore. But a nice one. Hello? 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 Is this a robbery? No. Um, could I have some gum? Two pounds, you dolphin embryo earrings, sir. Two pounds, you earrings. My second wife. Oh, I. I met her pothole in Jemima. That was her name. I used to, uh, I used to take my mates. I used to say, uh, my wife, uh, she gave a speech last week. Um, and they'd say, what? Jemima? I'd say, no, she used her own voice. <laughs> Two pounds, you earnings. Two pounds. This brandy, you can almost. You can almost smell the oak from the casks that they mature this brand in. <laughs> I believe you're sadly mistaken. It's sandalwood. Um, yes. I know that you know your brandies. I wouldn't want to. Oh, cool, cool it. Okay, just settle down. Split it up, guys. Come on. There's no need for violence. Uh, <laughs> I think you're um, misunderstanding. Oh, I misunderstand? No, there's no need to lay into this guy. There's no need to beat him up, all right? Just because he's smaller than you. He may dress like Colonel Sanders, all right? But you've got greasy hair and you look like a real creep. We were merely having a debate. Shut up! Now, I'm going to go away. And I don't want any more trouble from here. Because if I do hear some more trouble, I'm going to come back and paint you a portrait you're not going to like, even though it's hanging in your little gallery. Can I get yes, a, sir, hi. can I help you? Uh, uh, yeah. I'd like, I'd like um, a drink. I'd like a beer, please. please. Oh, like Any particular drink. kind of beer, sir? A Wolfsteiner, please. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Um, I'd like something to drink. <laughs> uh, sir, I'm helping this gentleman. I'll be with you in just a bit. I'm I have the money. Drink. Sir, you just be patient. Nice pop you got here. Hey, look, it's 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 it
sorry. May I have a drink, please? All right, let's go. Oh, is it? I was published, built in the reign of Queen Anne, sir. Queen Anne? Yes, my wife and I came over from Texas. Parker, Parker, I want a Parker, I want a Parker. I'd like a pint of lager, please, when you're through with this gentleman. No rush. Uh, is he a member here? I believe he's the maitre d'. No, he's the maitre d'. Oh, that's it! Enough! Whoa, you people are just driving me nuts! I told you once! I told, I told you not! Look, I've been a member here for 13 years. Oh, yeah, 13 years, huh? That makes you a really lucky man in China. But here it just gets you the knuckle lottery, oh, okay? Will you please? Oh, oh well, like, look at my back was turned. Oh, up comes a hyena, nabbing a goblet of my flesh. I got more. Take a look at my inventory, pal. Take a look at it. Come on into the jungle. You'll see wild beasts there. Maybe some pythons. Come on now, spangly Roxton. Oh, and you, you'll find a hippo ready to tear your lungs out. Come on, Mr. Greaseball. Stick those turd sticks in your mouth and shut up. Coward. Coward like dogs in the presence of the wolf. Oh! Oh! And she said, get this. Honey, she I've said, got some great news. It's not news. as if we're... Roger, I'm on the phone. She Honey? said, it's not Honey? as if we're bosom pals, is it? Honey? Not after the Honey? business with the parking bed. Remember that? Honey! You know, so I said, because I didn't want to be rude. Huh? I was trying to be nice. I said, Honey! We want to park our car in front of your house. That is Honey? our business. So shut your big fat ass mouth. Huh? Yeah. Honey! Oh. Honey! Roger. No, no, she didn't apologize. No, after all, Roger did we were hedge. Do you remember? Yes, I broke into her house last night and crapped on her kitchen table. <laughs> yeah! Honey! Honey! No, I Honey! Roger, is there something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You just go ahead and finish your call. I'm saying Chelsea. You say? I'm saying Chelsea yeah. ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, say it again. I'll say Chelsea ain't going nowhere. What? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you watch it. All right, hey, 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 hey. Hey, let's simmer down. Let's cool it down here, all right? Just cool it. What are you talking about? Listen, I know he's bugging you, all right? He's driving you crazy. You want to smash his face in. All right? I know that. But just try and keep it cool, all right? Anyway, and you, don't let her wind you up. But this is my fiance. Smart mouth in front of a lady, huh? I don't understand. Oh, you don't understand. Maybe you understand this, pal. Huh? Listen, all right, come on. You come into my stable, pick a pony. You're not going to like the ride you get, because their legs are short. Now stand up. Get out of here. Get up. You want to see going to be a smart guy? You're going to get the hell out of here. You're bored. You're bored. So uh, where exactly did you last see your wife, sir? Not in the high street. In the high street, was it? Yeah. I mean, we were just walking along together, and then I turned away from here, turned out, and she'd just gone. Yeah. I mean, she just disappeared. It's not yeah. like her at all. We are doing everything we can she to try and find your wife. Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, where exactly, uh, where exactly did you last see your wife, sir? In the high street. Oh, yeah. In the high street. And what was she wearing? What? Oh, just there, just there. You've got a lot of attention there, Dave. Yeah. Now, what's going on? What are you doing? Okay, so everything's in the control. Dave's just uh, been very busy, a lot of tension. Ow! Just watch what you're doing! That really hurt. Okay. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Okay. Forgive me? No. <laughs> Look! What's going on here? My wife's out there! She could be lying face down in the gutter for all we know. Sorry. Not no. taking this seriously <laughs> no. at all. Sorry, sir. No, um, no, uh, yeah, your wife. Uh... <laughs> Funny! What is this place? What's going on? You're sick! Anything could have been... Oh! <laughs> What's that? Bloody hell, Alan. What's that? It's been a while. Oh, oh, it's disgusting. What do you mean, peanut whale? What is it? Hello, little fella. Hello. It's a peanut whale, mate. The Hello. smallest whale in existence. Oh. That's what that is. Right, me and Cleverlegs, we're gonna get a female peanut whale together, right? We're gonna make one of them, get two of them to breed. <laughs> Don't wanna think about it. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. Not right. I'll make a fortune. Yeah, they'll yeah. get you. Who will get me? Them. Who? The animal rights no people. No one's getting me. Everyone's getting you. The animal rights people. You know my Uncle Boris? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what happened to him. He no. had taxidermists. Yeah? He used what? to muck about with animals. Oh, yeah? Putting sheep's heads on wolf's legs. What are you on about? No torsos? No, they were furious. Oh. Yeah, well, they got him. Did they? Yeah. Heated him up, melted him down, left him there like a fully working skeleton. Oh. oh should have seen him at weddings. Oh. It was frightening. Hello, children. Do you want to follow the phone? Oh. Oh. Well, listen, your Uncle Boris is one thing. My, really? I'm another disgusting. kind of thing. I'm another oh, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a nut job. Really? Yeah. They call me the Maverick. I know. I've seen you go, mate. Have you? I'll tear a man's face off as soon as look at him. Really? Yeah. You're outrageous. I am. I'm like an ox. Right. I'm burly. Really? I'll come at you, right? I'll take your arms off gently. It'll tickle. But then I'll punch your stumps. Yeah, I trained in zinc. Did you? Yeah. Did you know? Yeah, I trained in lead as well. Oh, yeah. Calcium, yeah. all the elements. Oh, yeah. And when you get me in air, so fast. Too fast, really. Yeah. You know, men come at me. I'm ironing shirts. What? You know, I've got ages. I'm eating crackers. They come at me. Bang! I'll get them. You're pretty good. Yeah, I've got all the time in the world. But I'm hard. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I drink needles. Well. Really? I drink needles. Yeah. Yeah. And then I wash in hammers. Really? Yeah. That is good. Yeah, I'm a voodoo wrestler. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I got a boat in headlock once. Yeah. You weren't even in the same room as me. Ah. He's mad, man. That's crafty. You're sharp. I know. Yeah, but I'm fast. Yeah. You're fast, I'm fast. Yeah? I came with this bloke, right? Like that. So yeah. fast, right? He gets up to go, smiling, yeah. thinks he hasn't even been hit. Yeah. Gets up to go, leaves, hair falls out. That is fast. So, what you're basically saying is, if the animal rights people find out about your peanut whale, Ready? I'm ready for them, mate. Really? Come on now. Here we are. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's what the money is. Genetics. I'm going to make a mint. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be gambling, throwing your money away. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. I'm gonna, I mean, I made, I made a freakish I want peanut right. whales now, but tomorrow it's a cashew dog. Then after that, a pit lion. I'm away, mate. I'm shrinking things like a tumble drum. And the following teachers are gay, Thompson, geography, uh, Perkins, origami, uh, Granger, art, I'm not gay, I'm French, and it's Granger. An idiot. Granger. He's gay. I'm not gay. Here, yeah, I'm gonna be late for my meeting. God, I have to put my car in half an hour. <laughs> well, I guess as long as we're stuck here. Excuse me. Um, I guess we better get to know each other, huh? Okay. My name is Robert. Hi, I'm Virginia. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I see you've been shopping. Oh, yeah, yeah, just, you know, a few odds and ends, you know, shoes, spice rack. I have to be honest with you, I'm not very comfortable in these cramped situations. I'm sure it'll be okay, you know? I'm sure someone's working on the situation right now. Yeah, I know, I know, but... There's always a little voice inside of me that says, you know, you're not going to get out of here. You're stuck here. You're going to die here. You're never, never getting out. Never. Hey, ne hey. Come on. All right? That's crazy talk. Repeat after me. We're going to get out of here. We're going to get out of here. Oh, thank better. you. <laughs> uh, sorry about the way I acted a little while back. I guess I kind of went off the deep end, huh? So you, you pull through, you know, it's okay. I'm proud of you. Hey, how about some Bucks Fizz that I bought for my sister's anniversary to celebrate? Well, that would be great. Okay. Thank you. I think I may be falling in love with you. Uh, cheese on a stick. Why they make things so difficult to open nowadays? What is that? It's Mr. Lambert <laughs> from the sweet shop. Come in, Mr. Lambert. Do have a nice cup of tea. Oh, um, I'm afraid I can't uh, stop for tea. It's about the Everton mints that you bought this oh, morning. You come to help me open the package. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Have I won the lottery? No. <laughs> oh, you my son? No. <laughs> oh. It's just that the mints that you bought, they cost 47 pence. Now, you gave me uh, 46, and uh, this farthing. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry. It, it was all I had on me at the time. I, I wonder, could you perhaps wait until the next pension payment? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> you wouldn't be your boss, would you? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Toodaloo. <laughs> oh, Robert, how could you possibly be in love with me? Nobody loves me. Even my husband hates me. I'm just, just a dropout psychology student who's now as dull as dishwater. Don't ever let me hear you say that. You're going to go back to college. You're going to finish your degree, and you're going to follow your dreams. Do you understand? Oh, Robert. You know what you said earlier? You know? I think, yeah, yeah, I think I love you. So, I assume you're going back to your husband. Yes, yeah. But I, I'm, I'm going to take your advice about college. I'm going to go and study to be a certified psychologist. What about you, Bob? Are you going to be okay? I've decided to move to Africa. Try to pick up the pieces. I'll never forget you. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. And he said, uh, well, if you're French, then uh, what's all that rice doing in my fridge? <laughs> Where are you from? <clears throat> knock, knock. There's two sausages in a frying pan. One sausage turns to the other sausage, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing and I've heard it. <laughs> two sausages in a frying pan. One sausage says to the other, it's hot in here. The other says, <laughs> fly me, a talking sausage. <laughs> I'm going now. You've been great. Um, don't forget, laughter is the best medicine. Unless you're an asthmatic, and then it's mental. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You've been marvellous. I've been Derek Swalestone. Thank you. And good night. Things are good. Good for Yeah. What do I owe you? I'm starving. What? Yes, our first product is hurly burly pretzels. Tell me the first thing that pops into your mind. A hurly burly pretzels for a hurly burly world. Why well, see sexy women on a beach eating pretzels, sir? Not a... It's a new kind of pretzel. Yet. Squirrels. Squirrels? Well, squirrels are introduced to this delicious product, and they will have no choice but to continue to eat it, or they will die. And so it only makes sense that you should change the name to Squirrely Whirly. Squirrely Whirly. Biggles, where did you get this guy? I don't know, sir, but I apologize. He's obviously some crackpot. Excellent, gentlemen. Now, moving right along, our new line of soft deep fabric softener. Any ideas on this one? No static cling. Ring-a-ding-ding. I see sexy soft fabric on a beach with women. Boo. Gives you time to live your life. Yeah, your life. Good, good, gentlemen. Wait. We haven't heard from this young man. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> That's wrong. Why is that? Well, you know, I think of softness. I think of eels, and they're soft and smooth like velvety eels, and their tongues, uh, they licky, soft, mm -hmm. and so they go, and mm -hmm. then I think of snowmen, and they, they're out of the eyes of the snowmen, the eels coming out of there, uh -huh. and so the only logical thing is to make it white. White like the snowman, it's so simple. Come on, think, people. Our next product. Executive luggage for the world traveler. Uh, luggage makes you vomit like a squirrel. Luggage is sexy like a snowman's eyes. Eels. 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 Better? What about you, son? All I can think of is Milan will be consumed by ghouls! <laughs> Shit on a stick! Son, you and 
I need to have a little talk. Why don't you get your stuff? Well, can I bring these? Bring those. I'm supposed to do the rest of the window, so then I'm supposed to watch the nurses eat lunch. My wife used to be a nurse. She really? can watch her. Where are you from? <laughs> I tell you, I'm having some bad luck these days. I just looked up with my girlfriend. Uh, she said I didn't understand her. I mean, uh, well, I think that's what she said. <laughs> oh, I tell you, the bad luck, it's running thick and fast. I just got fired from my job, sir. Yeah, and I'm self-employed. <laughs> Take care now. <clears throat> Hey, where are you from? Oh, oh uh, tell you, have you noticed that if you've got 50 bottles of wine in your cellar, yeah, you're a connoisseur, you've got 50 bottles of gin, <laughs> you're an alcoholic. <laughs> They're very funny. Okay. Well, um, I'm off now, so uh, you've been great, and I've been Derek Swalestone. Thanks a lot, and uh, good night. The following teachers are French, P. O'Reilly, C. Wilkinson of physical education. Um, I'm not French. Bonjour. I'll be 26 next week. French, definitely French. I'm French. T. T. Granger is still gay. I'm not gay. T. Wilkinson. I'm not gay. I'm not French. I'm not P. Chlamydia. <laughs> At the same time tomorrow, there's more Britcom with Mad For It, which is Northern. So, uh, tune in. What's next tonight? Yes, after the break, Roseanne.